YouTube, we back. Um, well, we back for the second time because I recorded this whole video and I forgot that I didn't press record. I didn't. Re I thought I pressed record, but where it shows me the record button was being covered by my Vegito. So <laughs> it, I actually didn't see everything. But anyways, I'll say what I had to say. Now this game. Please excuse all I don't I don't know how to do this editor. But this game, yes, we are talking about Hell Divers 2. Bro, this game. This game. This game is addictive as hell, bro. <laughs> this is all I've been playing. I cannot play any other game. You won't see me in Fortnite, you won't see me in Call of Duty, you won't see me in Apex, you won't see me there, bro. I am here. As soon as I got out of work, I'm here. But we have to talk about a few things. There's a few problems that we gotta talk about. And one of the things we gotta talk about is the bugs. Okay. And I'm not talking about the bugs, you know, these guys that we gotta get. We talk about the bugs of the game. For example, you can't revive revive your teammates sometimes. Sometimes one of your teammates uh you know dies, you try to get him back, you can't. You throw as many reinforcements as you want, they will not come back. It's just frozen. It's bug. You know. Um, another thing is if you're online and you got somebody that wants to join you to play, they can't join you. Either they can't join you or it shows that you're offline, or they, it shows that they're offline. Or whenever you're trying to join them, it says they kicked you or something like that. Recently it has been um uh, easier to join so i believe they are fixing it and stuff like that to revive i don't think they're working on it yet because it happened to me literally today so it is what it is but the wait time the server wait times bro i grew old waiting for these servers old i waited three hours to get into a server one time i was just literally staring at my computer for three hours just waiting to get it because i just want to play you know what i'm saying but they have worked on it i will say that uh recently the last couple of days is as simple as me just turning on the game skipping the cutscene which is a fire cutscene skipping the cutscene and i go straight to my ship without a problem easy simple before i would have to call my girl while i'm at work like can you turn the game on when i'll be there in two hours hopefully i can play type stuff but you know now it's just instant you just get in um, I talked to my, I had a conversation with my friend about the fact that this game costs 40 bucks. Now, the game costing 40 bucks is not the issue, which is a great price. Actually, I really like the price. You know, these other companies was gonna drop a $70 game on you, like on your head, 70 on your head, you know, and to have a break and get a $40 stuff like that is pretty cool. Um, Yes, I do come from Call of Duty and Fortnite and Apex. Fortnite, I mean, uh, Call of Duty wants to drop you a, a, a DLC for $70 and they want to act like it's not a DLC, but we all know it's a DLC. But whatever. What's done is done. Now, I don't have no problem paying the $40 for this game. I would say that this game is worth it. It is fun. You know, you can put a lot of hours into this game, a lot of hours to grind and stuff like that. Um, my problem was that when I spent the forty dollars, I had to do all these. I had to deal with all these bugs. All I told my friend was, the game is worth forty dollars. It is, but they didn't finish the game. The game is very buggy. Has a lot of uh, issues with bugs and stuff like that, which doesn't make the game pleasant. Like I stick it out because I really don't. You know, it is what it is, but. Well, there's a lot of people that have a little bit of time you know they come home from work let's say they can only work for i mean they can only play for an hour or two or they spend an hour literally just waiting or 45 minutes just waiting to get into the game like that's not fun like i have to see this weekend coming up to see how it's gonna be if it actually did get fixed because this is, this is the weekday so you know a lot of kids go to school and stuff like that so you don't have to stay up but 
tomorrow's Friday. Let's see how tomorrow night goes. Um, the plan with people was that they couldn't join you. Like you could throw the SOS be beacon, and no matter if you did that, they were they weren't able to join you. That got fixed. As you can see in the gameplay, I ended up uh, with four people on my team at one point. So, well, four total at one point, which was cool. Um, you do have the hours in this game. But it's not bad because it's fun. It's always stuff to do, you know, for democracy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the lines they have in this is hilarious, bro. And then the ragdoll effect is so funny. Especially when you when you dive off a high place and stuff like that. It's just hilarious. Now, what I say, what I give my recommendation for people to buy this game. Um, If you have $40 and, you know, you don't care about spending it to buy the game. Yeah, of course. You know, it's fun. If it's your last forty dollars, no, you just, that's a bad financial decision. But I'm not a, I'm not. It's your money, you do what you want. That's just my opinion. But look at this right here. <laughs> it's hilarious, bro. But you know, you do what you want. It is your money. Do what you want. But I bought it. You know, I don't regret it. And. Uh, I think they were gonna put more stuff into this game, if I'm not mistaken, from what I heard. But let's see how it goes. But yeah, this is my view of this game right now, man. I guess I'll see you in Hell Divers. In Hell Divers, if you wanna add me, just let me know. Ask me in the comments the the friend code or whatever it is that they asked for. Yeah, I'll see you then. Peace. Thank you.